Welcome back, everybody, down to the Legacy. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are going to make some shotgun shells, and then we're going to do some random looting, and yeah, I think that's it. Uh, so overnight, I mined a little bit of iron. Uh, I worked on my base a little bit here, so I had some cardboard boxes up there, which I replaced with these boxes. Um, moved the campfire over, uh, put this down for, for beverages, uh, large weapons bag for weapons, large toolbox for tools, move the maintenance station over that way a little bit. Um, replace this crate with, uh, with a larger crate. And I'm going to also replace this one once I get my hands on another one of those. So we've did that. Uh, what else did we do? We got, um, some more ingots here cause we need a whole crap ton of ingots to make the, um, the chemistry station so we're working on that and we, we also need one more thing of acid to uh to get that done okay so let's see i've got medical materials in here medical products in here and i think that gets us all cut up um and i'm putting like um mortar and pestle products in this box for the time being <clears throat> okay so Let's go into here and we're going to grab all of this and we're going to grab all of this. And I think, what's that? Those are 762 rounds. We have 63556. I wouldn't mind making a little 556 either. Oh, you know what else we could start doing now that I think about it? Is we should be taking this, uh, most of this brass. We want to save some of it because it's used for certain other things and most of this lead and make casings and bullets. Now, this is used for ballistics table tier 2, requires 10, and 10 for the research. Uh, I have a quite, quite a few brass hinges already just from looting, so we're in pretty good shape on those for now. Uh, we need the blacksmith's forge too before we can make our own bobby pins. So let's just... Yeah, let's keep 30 of those, and we'll turn the rest into bullet casings. All right, now, what do we need lead for besides bullets and buckshot? Metal mesh and... Uh, okay, I'm not really worried about the rocket fuses for a while. And lead is so easy to come by anyways uh, that I... Th oh, we are too heavy to, to, to move. Look at us on our bad selves. All right, let's put the lead here for a minute. Walk over here, grab it again. All right, and then we're going to make a whole mess of those, 850, and we're going to see, we can make 130, so let's make, let's make uh, 50 of these, so that's probably 500. No, let's make 30. No, 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 30. What? <laughs> I hate it when this game does this. Okay, I want three zero please <laughs> all right get out of the workstation back into it there we go okay and that should make 300 right oh no that only makes 120 oh all right um so that means it's making four per number so if we want a little more than that if we did another 30 that would be two 30 60 what, okay, so 100 is going to make us 400, right? Yes. Okay, so yeah, let's make 400 buckshot, and then we're going to turn the rest of the lead into 300 more bullets. I actually know, I think I want to make 200 buckshot, and then the rest can go into bullets. There we go. Okay, yeah, let's go, let's do that. And then uh, these shells are just about, our casings are almost done. All right, we'll let that do its thing. And then, oh, am I, I'm too heavy again. Wow. Uh, let's put these in here. Can I move now? Yes. All right. So we've got casings, we got bullets, we got paper. Uh, I have, I have a, sm a small amount of gunpowder that we've just loaded in here, but not a bunch. Um, so what I want to do here is. Oh, we need plastic for those two. That makes sense. You don't in vanilla, but it actually does make sense that we would need plastic too. Can we still walk? Yeah. All right. So we can make 45 of these. 
and we have 111. So maybe what we'll do is let's make 20 of these and we'll make the rest in uh, five, five, sixes. Okay. And then we'll just put that gunpowder there. In fact, I'm going to keep this stuff in. Well, yeah, we're not going to have enough room. I'll, I'm going to need to put a storage crate over by this. We could use this, but this is really more of kind of a drop-off crate. Uh, I don't want to mess with that because that thing will respawn. So, yeah, for now, I'm just going to keep everything back over here. It's not a big deal. Um, Let's actually keep half our plastic in here, too, because, you know, we have to use it, right, for, for making ammunition. Okay, so we'll grab those, and then we just wait another minute for the 5.56s, five, and then when those are done, we're going to set out, and we're going to continue our systematic random looting uh, of this town. And I also do have the Trader Tier 3 quest again, too, which we can make that, we can make that active. Uh, we might get over there today, we might not, we'll see. We will see. Okay, so yeah, food and water's in pretty good shape. We could actually stand to drink a little bit more, so let's throw back a few more waters. Since we're not, you know, leaving town and our town's not that big, we can always just come back to the base to refresh on food and water later as needed. Uh, we, maybe we'll keep these with us, though, just in case we run across some mineral water. Okay, so we just have a few seconds left on these. Mm. I just remember something. I've got a point to spend, too. Let's look at that. Okay, so perk points. Um, what are we working on? I think we're trying to get strength up to five so that we can take the next Skull Crusher and the next Sexual Tyrannosaurus. Um, we've kind of... We, we have a lock-picking solution for the time being, and that's the, you know, that's the Jailbreaker candy. So, yeah, let's keep working on strength. Um, I also want to put start putting points in Machine Gunner, too, at some point. All right, so we, we now have an effective five because of the cigar, which I'll never take out of my mouth, so we'll always have an effective five in strength. So the next points are going to go into Skull Crusher, um, Sexual Tyrannosaurus, and then we'll start pumping up Machine Gunner. I want to keep working on Minor 69 or two. Probably eventually we'll, we'll put points in Mother Load, too, but uh, from what I understand, Minor 69 or you actually get more resources by leveling this up first before leveling this up. Um, I, I watched a video of somebody a, a while back explaining that and how it works. But uh, so, uh, and besides, minor, minor 69er also helps us break blocks faster, uh, which is also extremely useful. Okay, so let's go and get here, grab the rest of these. And we have 97 rounds of 556. That's for our oh shit weapon. I don't usually, I, I've used it to kill some deer too, but I don't use it really for a whole lot else. Where's my bike? <clears throat> Excuse me. It's back here. Okay, let's go. Let's go. So we are looking for one more acid, and then I still have to do some more mining too to get the rest of the iron plating to make the chem bench. So that's kind of what we're gunning for at this point. In yesterday's stream, we looted everything on this front street. Uh, that I haven't already done. And we looted that tank area over there, the little POI behind it. We've been in this greenhouse already more than once. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I think what we want to do is get... We left off with... Yeah, we left off with that burned building there. And so, yeah, we want to start going down this street. And, well, the streets don't run real even actually. Uh, we've already been in there, of course. That's where our workbench is. So I don't know if we've done this place. Probably not because the mailbox hasn't been looted. Okay, there's another book. And also, I don't know if we've done this place over here. So let's, uh, actually, let's take the bike back over there. We might have, I just don't remember. So we'll take a look at it and see. Yeah, okay, this is right. Okay, I don't think we've done this place, guys. I really don't. Uh, so, yeah, we haven't even looted the trash or anything. Uh, so let's pick that up. All right, we're going to have some Zeeks to deal with. There's going to be a couple in there and a couple in here. <coughs> Excuse me, in here. Uh, so let's take them out first before we do much else. Okay, we got 
zombie bow up there. And I see... Actually, that might be our... Oh, that might be our lean there, but I'm not sure. Here, let's just... Uh, Okay, take care of him. Uh, we got some gasoline in here, so let's grab this and fill her up. We'll check all the boxes because we find books, we find gears, we find broken glass, we find rubber, plastic, the whole nine yards in there. Uh, we are also grabbing cement. Probably after the Kim bench, the cement... Uh, uh, concrete mixer is probably the next thing we're going to be working towards. Okay, we'll check these. Oh, nice, a passing gas crate. Passing gas crates are wonderful in this mod. Let's see if we get something really good out of here. Oh, I needed to repair my pick. I might run back and do that really quick. Okay, let's see what we get. Um, Okay. Honestly, not too impressed with that, but whatever. Okay, let's grab this, open this, check this. All right, um, let's check the bus. So we're looking for those mini bike parts too, of course. Uh, that will scrap. Okay. Grab this. Grab this, get some nails and planks, get the bricks. We're just kind of cleaning cleaning stuff up. I didn't do a lot of salvaging last night. I was mostly looting, but I'm kind of in the mood to do a little salvaging as we go along, too. We're not going to salvage everything we come across, but some things we will. It's selective salvaging. That's what it is. Okay, so that takes care of all that stuff. Um, let's go ahead and grab these. Why not? Got a couple bird's nests here. And I don't think there's any Zeeks in this part of the yard. We'll get some firewood. And another pallet and a duffel bag behind that pallet. Okay. Oops. Nice. Always take a bandage. Okay, we got that. And... What do we get when we scrap these? Scrap iron, okay. What's behind here? That gives us planks. Okay, we'll take all that. Some adhesive. More boards. And I think that's it for the outside of this place. Okay, let's go in. We're gonna have to kill a couple Zeeks. That. That's an Edgar. All right. I'm going to shoot him right in the scrotum since we can't see his head. Ooh, that's got to hurt. <laughs> Edgar, I'd apologize, except for I kind of hate you, so I'm not really that sorry. Look at that arrow sticking right out of his crotch. It's terrible. All right. We still have another sleepy in here somewhere. Probably up above, I'm guessing. Get rid of this. Bow ready. All right, we can't see them from down here, so I doubt we're going to be able to successfully climb up that ladder and snipe them. Nice, we got another book. I love it. Uh, we got some charges in here. And in there. Okay, cool. Get rid of this. We'll just keep looting until whoever that is wakes up, and then we'll deal with them. Get a little plastic out of there. Oh, he's right here. I thought he was up there. All right, never mind. What do we get when we take the this apart? We get firewood. Scrap wood. Broken planks. Probably all right. All right, not really worth taking apart, considering how long it takes me to break it down. OK, 
Okay, this wheel... Oh, no, I thought that had a rib on it. Uh, wheels with rims give you a chance of getting an actual whole wheel. Let's get this working stiff. That we can use for crafting certain things. This we're just going to scrap. We might not even need that anymore either, but we'll see. Okay, I don't know if there's Zeke's up here or not. Nope, I think we're good. Weapons bag, nice. Okay, we'll take that stuff for selling. And the fat loots box. This we can't sell, so we're going to scrap it. And we will pick this up and replace that that other... Uh, well, actually, I actually have a couple more cardboard boxes back at the base that I want to replace. Okay, that is it for this POI. Let's move on to the next one. I, I can come back and wrench this bus later. Um, yes, we're going this direction. Okay, let's check this place out next. We got a car here. Nice. We already got the hit the mailbox. Pipe action. Let's grab this too, because we can. Sometimes when I play this game, I'm in the mood to salvage. Sometimes when I play this game, I'm in the mood to loot. Sometimes when I play this game, I'm in the mood to do both. Oh, shit! Um... Okay, that scared me. Uh, by the way, I don't know if I told you guys this in the last episode, but on the live stream, we found this steel combat knife. It's a really cool knife. Look at that bad boy. It's awesome. So, yeah, that is our new Kniffy. Nope, don't, don't knife the car. Okay, we got a little bit of brass action out of that. Grab this. Grab this. Grab that. Um, they were telling me last night... Oh, bobby pins. Good. They were telling me last night on the live stream that you're better off picking these up and taking them back to the base and wrenching them there because if you wrench them, then the sum of their parts weighs more than the whole item. Yes, I know. That is illogical, but this is a video game and not all video games use logic. So there you go. Okay, let's get to brick. And uh, here, we'll grab this for boards. And I think that's it for everything in the yard. Whoop. Nothing here we really, we're really interested in. Okay. We got two bookcases in here. That's wonderful. Okay, here, let's do this. Sounds like we only got one Zeke here. All right. I think that's going to be all the enemies, hopefully. Coffee. Yes, we have coffee. Let's get a charge of coffee and this. Um, Actually, no. Let's, let's put the coffee in these. I like to save the jars for cooking. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, we'll grab that. Does this actually need be, do we need this for the Kim bench actually now that I think about it? Let's see. Recipes. We sure do. How many do we need? Three. Okay. So I've been scrapping those, but the, what, when we come across them, we're going to start saving them until we have three. I probably can make that, though, too, in the blacksmith. Let me see. Can I? Yeah, we can just make it in there. But, I mean, still, if we find them, we might as well hang on to them. So we save ourselves some iron uh, for that. Got bones in there. And some honeycomb. All right, let's get this leather. And then we're going to check these bookcases and hopefully we get some fat loots. There could still be a Zeke in this back room. Let's um, actually... Yeah, look at that. That's a, a Zeke closet there. Nobody in there, though. Okay. 
Anything in there? That might be where the fat loots are, actually, now that I think about it. All right, we got a pipe shotgun. We'll probably end up just selling that. Fix it up and sell it. And let's get the bed. Anything down here or behind there, rather? Nope. Okay. Let's break this open. We'll go back and uh, we won't forget those bookcases. But since we're here, let's just finish things out. This should give us plastic, right? Yep, we got a couple pieces of plastic. Okay, we got a sink in here with some stuff and a weapons bag. Ooh, look at that, our first AK and a flashlight mod to boot. All right, that's not so bad. Um, One of the things about that is I, I seem to find a lot more 7.62 ammo than I do 5.56. So when we run out of 5.56 on this guy, then we can switch over to this guy. That was a nice find, actually, even though it's a shit level, but that's okay. It's better than none at all, right? Better than none at all. Okay, I think that's it for in here. I'm not going to loot the toilet or the uh, whatever that thing's called. Bathtub. All right, come on. Oh, let's see. Harvard, yeah, 10% buzz from coffee. We are learning that one. And hunting knife, we're learning that one too. Wait, we have the steel knife though, actually. The steel knife that we have is almost certainly going to be better than a brown or H-level hunting knife, which is all we're going to be able to make. So since that is the case, I think we're going to actually go ahead and scrap this for the research data. I would not have done that if I didn't have that steel combat knife, but since we do, right, might as well. Okay, we are done in here. I am going to head back to the base, drop a few things off, repair my pick, and then I will meet you guys back here at this place, because this is the next place for us to loot. All right, guys, let's uh, let's uh, experiment with this for a little bit. Okay, so this is five pounds by itself. So if we put it down and then grab our wrench... Okay, um, so now we have 0.48 pounds, 0.7 pounds, and 1.12 pounds. It does not appear that that is the case. It looks like it would have been cheaper for us, or cheaper weight-wise for us to just scrap that on site. Am I missing something? Yeah, so 0.48 pounds, 0.7, that's just a little over one pound. This is one point, so... We're just, you know, two and a th maybe a third pounds, whereas the whole radiator was five. So apparently that is not the case. I was misinformed or I misunderstood what I was told. So that's why it's important to verify these things. You guys leave me leave me uh, good tips. You really do. But every once in a while, people give me incorrect information. Not necessarily because they're deliberately, but they're just misinformed themselves, perhaps. Uh, but it's always good to test these things. Test everything. Believe nothing, or however that saying goes. Okay, we're going to pull all of this out of here. We're going to pick this guy up. We're going to put you down, and then we're going to put all this stuff back in there. And then we'll now have more space. Oh. I must have accidentally put my 44 rounds in there. They're not supposed to be in there. That is not where they belong. No siree. All right, we'll put the cardboard box in here. And let's put the 44 ammo in here. So we have 34 rounds for the Badger, but uh, do we want to take that with us? Or the Mongrel's got 199. Now nah, let's just keep the Mongrel for now. The other thing we wanted to do is, do I have any more? St oh, yeah, I've got some. I got that ammo stuff in there. Let's just put these in here for now. And I wanted to grab a couple of these. We need 99 of those for the chemistry bench, so we got to. I got to keep working on that. Uh, put the pick in here and repair that up. I'm not going to repair this until it goes all the way down because I need a repair kit 
or a tier two station. See if insufficient station levels. So we're just going to take it all the way down and then we'll repair it with a repair kit. Put this back down here. All right, we are good to head back out. We are a little bit on the hungry side, though. I need to go do some hunting. Why don't we throw back some chicken rations? And um, some pears. And see if that gets us by for now. We'll drink a couple more waters, too. Okay. Let's go hit that next place. Shut up, zombie. You know, um, actually, this is a place behind where we just were. Uh, so let's take a quick peek and see what's going on around in here. Got some stuff there. That car is not lootable. We were just inside of that place. How much space does this have? Do nothing. Does it... What, can we s store anything at all in it? Load light material. No, it's just, just plastic. Okay. Uh, we can't even scrap it. Hmm. Okay, whatever. All right, what's going on in here? Bow's going on in here. And snakes, too. We like snakes. Snakes make dinner. Okay, awesome. That's two bacon and eggs right there. Okay. Is, uh... How, how... That's a thousand hit points. What about this? That's a thousand hit points. That's a thousand hit points. All right. I don't. I don't see any other way in here. All right. We'll check this and check this. And that's that's it. Wasn't really a whole lot to come in here for, was there? All right, what about this place? Thousand hit points. Really? Um, are we supposed to be able to get in there from this hole in the ground? Oh, that's not a hole in the ground, it's just a pit. All right, well, um, I'm going to break the first one out, and we're just going to peek inside and see if it's, I feel it's worth going all the way in. We got that box there, and there's a fuel barrel. Uh, can't really tell if there's anything else in that corner. There probably isn't because there's a door there. So, yeah, that's all we're going to mess with on that deal. We got a fuel tank over here. Uh, does it got charges? Yes, it does. All right, we got that taken care of. Uh, let's go look at this little shack over here. Here's another fuel barrel. Firewood and a weathered backpack. Oh, that had some decent stuff in it. Get some more firewood here. Does this give us anything? Eh, just scrap wood. Pretty much what all this is going to do, right? Scrap wood, maybe some nails because this is a pallet. Firewood. These will give us some nails. All right, that's enough of that. Here, let's hit this, though, for honey. And then uh, I think that house is next. We could, we could hit this one here, though, since it's right in front of us. 
Why don't we do that? This little garden patch had some potatoes in it that I harvested earlier. How much does this sell for? Eighteen? Eh. All right. Not super impressed. Okay, let's check this place out. That car is untouched. Uh, okay, we're going to scrap that for the shotgun parts and scrap that and take that. This gives us a chance to get a real wheel. And we got a car wheel. Nice. We'll take it. Have we looted this? Yes, we have. All right. Anything else over here? Yeah, we'll take that. Anybody in here? Nope. Okay, let's check this. We'll get the concrete. And I guess that's all we can do in there. I'm not I'm not grabbing beer. We have some already anyways. Okay, so this gives us an opportunity to test our lock picking or or um not test, um work on our lock picking skill. Oh, well, that one was just about ready to break, wasn't it? Okay, there we go. Put the cursor right there. And we got it. It's probably going to be a snake in here because I see a snake terrarium thingy. Which is fine. Because we need the meat. Look at that. There's a snake in here. Who'd have thunk? Whoop. And then Marlene. Marlene, are you a snake lady? Ouch. Okay. That hurt. I've probably told you guys this before. But in case not, or in case you haven't heard me say it before. And the Fun Pimps introduced rattlesnakes into the game, which was a long time ago. Like, I'm talking, we're talking Alpha 10, 9, 10, somewhere around in there. I got bit by one and I didn't get poisoned and I was really disappointed. Because, I mean, it's a freaking rattlesnake. So there should be a poison debuff that you get. And they should have also introduced an antidote into the game that if you don't take care of it, it'll eventually kill you. You know? Titanium chainsaw chain. Oh, that's a mod. That's not a, a part. Increased base damage dealt by chainsaw. That's cool. I like that. That is a mod thing. That's not a not a vanilla thing. So anyways, yeah, I was like, come on, this is a rattlesnake. It should be poisoning us. And we should have to deal with it. But no, they went they went on the cheap. Um okay, yeah, let's uh this door is unlocked. There's gonna be somebody in there, most likely. Well, they are. They didn't wake up. No? Nope. Guess not. Got a bandage. And I think that's really all we're concerned with. I could take the couch part, but I don't think I will. Okay. Uh, so this place is done. Where is our bike? It's right here. Let's move on to this house up here. Have I checked this little yellow Datsun 280ZX or Nissan? It used to be called Datsun, now it's Nissan. Long time ago when I was a kid, it was Datsun. Okay. I don't I don't recall us ever going into this house, like, you know, for for a quest or whatever. So therefore, we're going to just randomly loot it and we're going to get the double, uh, not the double loot, we're going to get the loot 
And then if we ever do a quest here later, then it'll reset for us. Okay, let's practice some more lock picking skill. All right, so we're right about there, I think. There we go. Okay, put the cursor right there. Beautiful. There's a Zom closet over that way. There's a Zom right there. Let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of this. Zom closet right there. Shit. Oh, wrong way. <laughs> that was close. <laughs> that was close. Okay. I hit harder than you. Okay. Let's hit this Zom closet. Whoops. No zombos in there. Wait, yep, I was going to say. Maybe there's one up there. Probably not in here. No. And stay down. Excellent. Okay, let's grab all this leather. Hit this room first. Well, hello, darling. Bonk. Okay, check this. Check this. Check this. Couple of lead ingots. Nothing there. Got some clothing here with some nerdy glasses, which we'll sell because we already have some. All right. Let's get the fat loots from the bed. And I think that's it for this bedroom. Are there any secrets behind there? I don't think so, but let's break it anyways, just because we can. Actually, no, there isn't, because it would be a a, a one-hit breakable panel if there were something. Okay, then we got a charge on that. Where are our plastic bottles? There we go. More Java. Java is all of a sudden more important now, because we read that mining book that allows us to get more ore when we are buzzed from coffee. So yeah, that's going to work good. Check out these shoes. And that's more uh, trader fodder. Here, let's um, uh, let's take one of these. Larry, Larry the Lumberjack thumped us a little bit there, so. Okay, can we close this door temporarily? Yes, we can. Get some cloths from that. A plush squirrel. I remember one time playing around with toys just like this. Can be placed as a decoration, burnable or salvageable to get a small amount of cotton. Okay. Get some plastic. Um, dryer is lootable. And I think that's it for in here. Ooh, that was close. All right, is it just him? I think so. No, don't be hitting me when you're trying to stand up. He must have been, like, right in that little alcove there.
Okay, I see Janitor Jerry over there. Headshot on Janitor Jerry. Oh, we also have Steve. Let's hit Steve first because he's easier headshot. Now we'll hit Janitor Jerry. Okay. Any more Zikaroos in here? this corner here oh we have a ladder we're gonna have to climb up okay I think we're good um, in this immediate area we'll go in there after we loot in here coffee beans Sandwich. Uh, do we get boards from taking this apart? 18 planks. That's not bad. What do we get from this? Oh, all kinds of stuff. Sheetrock for the win, eh? Okay, let's check you. Motor tool parts. We'll grab that. Anything up there? Yes, there's a little trash up there. Get a little closer. There we go. Scrap iron and nothing there. Okay, we've hit everything in this room. What do we get from this stuff? Pipes. Okay, we don't need any more pipes. We're good. Uh, this will give us a bunch of paper. All right, let's pick you up. And oh, shit. All right, that's a lot of Zeeks. Okay. That's the way, uh-huh, uh-huh, I like it. And we are in the garage with the fat loots. This is a tier two place because that's a tier two end loot box. Come on, passing gas, give us something good. Like a mini bike frame or handlebar. For example. Uh, okay, we'll take the repair kit for sure. I don't really care about the bicycle wheel. A little bit of ammo nishin. We got another chance for a mini bike frame or handlebar or whatever. Lame. All right, let's check the fat loots. Um, scrap. That we will probably fix up and sell, and we got some more 762s. Let's grab this. Uh, can we practice lock picking? Yes, let's practice lock picking. Just to get the skill up a little more. There we go. Right there. Whoop. Maybe back this way. A smidge. Huzzah. Uh, okay. Let's get the heck out of here. We are encumbered. All right, you guys. Well, I think that's going to be it for this episode. So uh, tomorrow, we'll probably just do the same thing tomorrow. We'll just keep systematically going through town, and I actually hit that yellow place in the live stream last night in the building on the other side of that place. So I think what we'll do is we'll start tomorrow uh, on that side of the street and then start working our way back down that way. Um, but this is fun. It's a little less stressful than, you know, doing the trader quest. Not that the trader quests are stressful per se, but it's just it's a little more free and easy. We just go loot and not worry too much about trying to turn quests and that sort of thing. Uh, and we get, you know, pretty good resources as a result, which is really the main purpose of doing this. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video. And we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.